One of the things I enjoy the most about Microsoft Flight Simulator is virtual sightseeing. There's a whole load of awesome places around the world and the sim does a great job of allowing us to visit them easily. So here's three locations that are well worth a visit and another three that, for now at least, are missed opportunities. Both Asobo Studio and Microsoft have said many times over the past year that Microsoft Flight Simulator is a long-term project and have even more than once stated that they want to work on the title for the next 10 years at least. In short, the sim is very much a work in progress, so anything in this video isn't a criticism so much as an observation. There's always room for improvement and Asobo have said as much themselves, so please keep that in mind as we move through this video and I fully expect to see much of these areas improved over time. San Francisco then is an amazing city in Flight Simulator. I recently directly downloaded the city itself into the manual cache at a total size of over 10 gigabytes, but it's not so much the city I want to focus on here, rather than another thing that the region is famed for, its lowland clouds and fog. The sim does a great job of recreating this effect, and on this occasion I was flying out of Eddie Andriani airfield and the clouds were laying low over the Montara mountain. As you can see, much of the city was also shrouded. The live weather then was working to great effect here, and of course, this gave the now classical view of the Golden Gate Bridge, a flight well worth taking. Jeju Island can be found off the southern coast of South Korea and was voted one of the new seven wonders of nature in 2011, and it's really not hard to see why. Jeju is a very unique island and is instantly recognisable. The island itself is the largest island in South Korea and there are many features that make it stand out. Probably its most iconic feature though is Seongsong Sunrise Peak. Unfortunately, this one is a little bit of a miss when it comes to a flight simulator. It's kind of captured the mood of the place, well, slightly at least, but as you can see from this photo, it looks very, very different in reality. Ultimately then, if you're already flying around this way, it's certainly worth adding as a waypoint. However, for me at least, this is very much a missed opportunity, and one that I hope a Sobo, or at least someone else, revisits very soon. Now, moving on to another island, well actually a set of islands, Cape Verde. Within this Atlantic island nation can be found Pico de Fogo. And this volcanic peak is very much a hit in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I think it's more than fair to say that this one has been realised to an exceptionally impressive degree. This is actually one of those areas that will look great no matter the weather, although it's worth pointing out that changing the weather here will give a dramatically different appearance to the location and will change the clouds out in just a moment. Now one thing the video footage here won't do is convey the size of the place here, it is really, really massive and if you want to visit here there's a runway located right on the edge of the island. Dry Tortugas. It's an unusual place for a national park perhaps, but nonetheless that makes it interesting in and of itself. Now, Dry Tortugas is the most remote national park within the United States located 70 miles off the coast of Florida. The archipelago of seven islands are themselves not terribly unique within the Mexican Gulf, but one of the features that does make these islands stand out is Fort Jefferson. Unfortunately, as you can probably tell straight away, we're likely heading for disappointment in Flight Simulator as the resolution of the satellite imagery here on Bing Maps is very, very low to say the least, but if we zoom out, you can at least see how far off the coast of Florida it actually is. Google Maps, meanwhile, has some much higher resolution imagery. This is one of the islands, but we actually want to look at Fort Jefferson, which is off to the east. Let's zoom in a little bit get a feel for the resolution there and then head on off to the east somewhere around here and we can see the fort itself. There we go, quite some detail there. Heading back to Bing Maps we can see there is a bit of a problem here, it's fairly discernible so it will be amazing if Flight Simulator can actually achieve anything with this, although it does have some other sources to work with of course. But as to be expected, the Flight Simulator hasn't done a very good job with this at all. Bit of a shame, but as I said at the start of the video, uh, Sobo are continuing to work with the Microsoft Flight Simulator, so, uh, well, if a Sobo don't improve this, 
then maybe someone will with an add-on, both uh, one of the freeware ones that the community may make themselves, or perhaps a paid one from third parties. The whole islands around here actually could do with quite a bit of work. In fact, talking of islands in the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, as well as the Bahamas, we've got this rather great looking island here. Now, what I want to talk about here isn't so much a hit or a miss, but rather the water effects. Now, around these tropical styled locations, we've seen some rather nice effects in the official flight simulator trailers. But many people have pointed out that they just can't find these types of locations in the sim itself. Well, they do exist, but these ones have to be manually created by a Sobo. The studio confirmed that they have done, I think, hundreds of different islands like this so far. Basically, they need shallow water and then go in and manually edit them. So not everywhere is done yet, but slowly over time, they will continue to add more such locations. Now, in case you actually want to visit a location just like this one, this is a Turks and Caicos Islands, a British overseas territory. And there's also an airport here. You can just about make that out in the distance. That is Cockburn Harbour. Unfortunately, though, not all islands within this region actually look quite as nice as that. Many still look like this, and many of you will also no doubt have noticed that fact. But if you do want to check out some decent locations, I think we can possibly start building a list of different types of locations where the water has actually been fixed up. So uh, let me know in the comment sections. Uh, perhaps we'll pin a comment, or perhaps I'll edit it together in a future video of all the wonderful Caribbean, Bahamas, and uh, Gulf of Mexico, and other such locations that we can all go and visit. That then brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.